Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make admin commands. Now, before this video starts, I just want to say that uh, I just got braces, so I might sound weird, and also uploads are going to be a bit slower because I can't really talk that well. But anyways, let's just go right into the video. So first of all, you want to go into the View tab and make sure that you have Explorer and Properties open because they are very important and we're going to need them. After that, uh, we're going to start making our admin command. So go into Explorer, click the plus on the replicated storage and add in a remote event. So this is going to be our admin command. So I'm just going to call it Spawn Car because that's the example I'm going to be doing in today's video. So after that, you can go into the starter GUI the plus and enter in a screen GUI. I'm just going to call the screen GUI the admin command. So admin command. And under admin command, click the plus and enter in a text button. You can drag this text button around. So I'm just going to put mine in the middle somewhere like that. And then the text button, I'm just going to rename it to uh, spawn car. And on the spawn car, we're going to go into the properties and you can change it to however you want. So I'm going to make my, let's make it red. And then I'm going to go down into the text. I'm going to make it say spawn a jeep. I'm going to make the text scaled. Uh, so that's there. And I'm going to make the text white. And I'm going to make it bold. So now that we've got our button, we just need to script it. So go under the spawn car button and add in a local script. And then we're just going to write local. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. It's so local, replicated storage. Equals to game, colon, get, not get children, get service. And then we're just going to get the replicated storage. So it should look like that. And then go down two lines and write local remote event equals to replicated storage. Replicated storage colon. Wait for child. And then we're going to put uh, brackets and quotation marks. And then under that, you're going to write in the remote event that we put in replicate storage. So that would be our spawn car. So spawn car. So make sure that the spelling is the exact same. So after that, you can go down two lines and then write script dot dot parent dot mouse button one click clone connect function and then put brackets like that. Go down the line write remote event colon fire server and then put brackets so this is what the script should look like under the button and then now we can go back into the explore go into a server script service click the plus and enter in a regular script we'll just call this script um let's call it spawn car command and you can write what I write so basically we're just going to copy these first two lines from the other script right into here because those are the exact same things and then we can go down two lines and we're write local jeep and then we're going to go get a jeep now so I'm going to go into the toolbox and I'm just going to go search up the jeep and I'll just get a random jeep like this one seems like a cool jeep to use and then take this jeep and just drag it right into the server storage and then go back to the spawn car command and local jeep equals to game dot server storage dot jeep and then go down two lines and then remote event dot on server event on connect function just like that and then we're gonna write local new jeep 
close to the Jeep. Clone, clone. So we're going to clone the Jeep. And then new Jeep. New Jeep. Dot parent. Equals to game. Dot workspace. And we're just going to do one more thing. So go back to the button that says spawn car. We're going to rename the local script into fighter command. And then under the spawn car, we're going to click the plus, enter in another local script. Then we're going to write admin only. Just like that. And here we're just going to write if game dot player dot local player dot name equals to and then here you're gonna write your own name so we actually need two equals so my name in Roblox is go sharpener and I'm gonna write then so if you, uh, basically you write your own name so that only you can see the button then and then go down the line and script dot parent dot visible equals to true and then go down the line write else and write script dot parent dot visible equals to false now if you want to add more than one person then just write or and then you write down another name within this so for example this is my alt account or go sharp and if you want to add more people just continue down the or line until you add more and more people so only the people that you write here can actually see the admin command and with that, that should be the script. So I'm just gonna quickly save to Roblox and I'm gonna go test it out. So I just load it in. And if I press spawn a Jeep, it's gonna spawn a Jeep right here. And then we can basically keep on spawning Jeeps because admin commands are very fun. As you can see, we just spawned a whole lot of Jeeps and you can spawn more and more Jeeps. It's infinite. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys one more thing. So basically the admins only script. We go here and we get rid of my name and we put only my alt account in. So only my alt account and then we press play. We won't be able to see the admin command. And you can see I just loaded in and there is no button for me to press because I'm not part of the names in the admin command. So yeah, that would be it for this tutorial. Hopefully my... Um, well, my voice doesn't sound that bad because I got braces now. It should be fine within a week or so. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you have any other tutorials you would like me to do, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Also, I'm considering starting a extra channels where basically I take my videos and then I do like extra things with them. Like maybe I show you guys a different command uh, with this admin command thing. But yeah, anyways, bye!